video and this video is a this video is about a question that spicy topic x and i've heard this question um before i've kind of seen it thrown around youtube before especially concerning the celebrities coming to the youtube platform come to social media platform like um jada pickett Red Table Talk on Facebook. And uh, and the fact that it's being filmed from Tyler Perry Studios. And Daytime Tea Time says she wants to film her, 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 her channel from Tyler Perry um, Studios. And who else is getting it? Steve Harvey. I think Steve Harvey is coming to Facebook with his Red Table, type, Red Table Talk type. Um, platform similar to Jada Pickett and he's going to be filming from t um, Tyler Perry so we see where um, Tyler Perry is going so Tyler Perry studio he's going to get rich off of these celebrities that are coming to social media where we everyday people not necessarily, um, some of us may be wealthy, or may be wealthy, but you know, but because um, we have disconnected from the matrix, and for some, you know, let go out of, out of corporate, you know, the corporate just treat you like whatever. If corporate get treated like how I hear some get treated, some get treated, imagine those subsidiary businesses under the corporate been imagine how they get treated pretty horribly but she mentioned the fact that and i and i saw that um the new guidelines from um youtube that come down but i need to find a really good audio reading thing so i can i can listen to these things because my eyes won't allow me to read like that my computer class has just messed my eyes up I literally had um, glaucoma surgery in the middle of exams, and had to come. And when I got to class, uh, I think my husband had, my husband had to read the stuff to me from my notes, make sure I know it. And then I went to class with my eye patch on where I had surgery, and passed my test. My com uh, I was taking a computer technology class. I forgot which class it was. But I want to think it was the um, class where you, um, I think it's the class where you take the computer apart and you put it back together and uh, install or reinstall the operating system and get the computer working again. That's the class I, um, I and I passed with an A. Now, it's, it's almost like us, we cannot deal, you know, those in that range where they um got those degrees and they're working with corporate. Not really working in the field they got it in by design of this system. And a side note, I heard something the other day. The fact that all of these degrees that these black women have and a lot of black men have, they are doing away with degrees. Now, you don't need a degree to get a good job now. So, when they hire all of these um, persons from the white and non-black culture that don't have degrees, they will get the job. And there's nothing you black people can say, oh, well, I'm more qualified because it doesn't matter because they're doing away with degrees. So that's why they're putting all this money into education. I think um, this, um, this Tom Stalman, he running for president after um, Kamala Harris dropped out. And he, he want to put something like something billion into HBCUs. They're putting their money in there because they, they want black people to continue to go to Harvard College universities and rack up all these monies, rack up all this student loan and be more and more in debt. That's to me that seems 
the whole new, um, well, let me put it this way, slavery ended, 1860, 1865, 1866, the Amendment Act that continued slavery. If you if you get a felony charge and they make sure black men get felony charges for breathing, like I say, for breathing while black. So you got that, and then the Jim Crow days where you got the police chasing them down, making sure that they are felons so they can go to jail and continue that slavery. Now. Then you had Joe Biden and Clinton made sure that happened. And now Joe Biden trying to run for president off of that. It's not going to work. There's no way in the world Joe Biden is going to beat Trump in president with what he did to decimate the black family. And then I saw a video the other day saying out of his mouth, 85, you make sure they stay in jail 85% of the time so they can get paid. I know that for a fact because my son... My youngest son went through that and what he's doing now. He got a high school diploma. And he just he just upgraded to a better job and he's and he's about to start it going into business with um uh, 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 with his longtime friend from school. He just working to get there and he realized he didn't he was going to school. But the universe he got stopped with that and couldn't finish it. And so now after all of that he got his, he don't need, he really need a degree. He got this better paying job. He, I just had to show him how you stay focused on what your trade is. And I got an old, older son, older than him. He's the oldest, and I'm trying to get him focused on that trade like, like his younger brother is. Because you know, that trade, you know what I mean. There's no job. You'll always be able to find a job no matter what because of that one trade you stick with. It may be different. In another at another job, but it's the same thing. You can learn it. But with saying all of that, these degrees are worthless. Is is becoming worthless? They're becoming worthless. You won't when you go there. Would you, now they're not gonna tell you coming in and proud of your degrees. They're gonna look at you, and you're not gonna get the job because their policies now is you don't need a degree. And my son just got this job, and he didn't need that degree he was going for. All he needed was his high school diploma. And now, with saying all of that, the reason the celebrities are coming to YouTube and Facebook is because we. The younger people, we the baby boomers, a lot of baby boomers, Gen Xers, um, millennials, especially millennials, are not watching mainstream. So mainstream is coming down to YouTube. So that's how, and, and, and that's how come this situation that um, Spicy Topics asked the question about um, Evelyn Lozado. She got all this backlash. And now she bringing, now she's coming from Basketball Wives, and she's coming to YouTube and get a platform on YouTube. And the question is, why are she coming to YouTube? You can listen to her channel and see her thoughts on, um, on that question. In comparison, how they say, when you Google search, it pulls up Funky Dineva. And his negative stuff he said about Tammy Roman last year and bringing it up. In the dealings, when you're dealing with what Evelyn Lozado did this last basketball wild season, he got a thing with that. That's a good thing you can look at. But when, in her in her explaining that, that one question she asked: Why are the celebrities coming to YouTube? And it's me, and you know, and it's pushing us out. Before you only needed a hundred, um, um. Subscribers. Now you need a thousand. You need four thousand watch time, which it makes it harder and harder for just regular YouTubers like us getting started to even get in. So, if y'all like, y'all can watch more of my um videos and get my um view account up, cause, cause, 
Because you need 4,000 views. You need 4,000 watch time views. So, if you like my videos, you can go check out my videos and get the um the views up. Get the watch time views up. That way I can hit my 4,000. Even though... Um, um, I'm slightly, even though I'm slightly on the 200, um, I'm not so concerned with the subscribers so much because I got subscribers that watch my videos. You need, you need a thousand, but I'm, but I'm less than 200. That's not my biggest concern. And the likes is never a big concern. If I get like, oh yeah, I'm good. I'm happy. I'm, I'm just not crazy about the likes thing like some people are and, they, and they're taking that way anyway so I would just never if if I get a view then I'm happy because if nobody watches it then no then why is it there so the majority of my um views and I got a lot of I got a lot of views I, I'm all I, I'm at even though I got less than 200 subscribers I'm almost at 65,000 views. So, with the watch, but I'm not at the 4,000 watch hour views yet, but I got 4,000 views. 4,000 eyes looked at it. And the majority of mine come from Google search. Google search and um, recommend it. More so, 99% comes from Google search. They type it in, they Google it like that. So, that's where my views come from. And my granddaughter, she's she, she's ten. She just turned ten, and she is on um, the app called Likes, and she's on Snapchat. When her daughter's not, when my daughter's not taking her off for for irresponsible crap that they do, and she's on um, she mostly on Likes, and her followers on Likes, and she have quite a few. Talks about black pixie. And when they find me, she said, well, and she said, well, my grandma, black pixie. She like, black pixie, your grandma? Oh, I watched your grandma video. I got little kids on likes. When I say little kids, I mean kids that are, she was nine when she told me this. Kids that are nine and younger are telling her, I see black. I like black pixie video. That's why. That's why I say um, the majority of my views are Google searches. These kids are finding me on YouTube. So they says the majority of my views is eighteen to thirty five. That's ninety percent, or not. And sometimes it's ninety nine percent or ninety five percent. Of my audience is 18 to 35. Sometimes it's more, sometimes it's 51% men, or it'll be 49% women. On any given time, it'll be a little bit more women, but it's mostly men. Like 51% men, 40 something percent women. Sometimes it'll be reverse. But anything over 45, I don't have too much views over 45. And I don't have. Basically, I don't have many views over 35. I might have some. I don't have any in my age range. In my age range, I don't really have any when I check my analytical. But that's the thing right there that I'm seeing. So I'm trying to get my, um, so I'm trying to get my, um, watch hours up to 4,000. And I just let my, um, subscription grow as it grow. Let it, um what they call it, uh, organically grow. And sometimes I will, I'll look, it'll have, a, it'll have a certain amount of views, then it'll go down two or three, and it'll be down for a while, then it'll go back up and whatever. It's, it's that wavering back, fluctuating back and forth like that. I just guess and they're removing bots and whatever, so I don't know. But, with views with, um, Creators like us on YouTube, the celebrity is going to flood. I can't wait to see what the platform is going to look like in 2020. Because it's going to be a whole new 
thing that is going to, I guess, blow a lot of us mind. But I wanted these indigo babies that was born in 1960. That is basically with whatever generation came after me. I'm in sync with I'm in sync with them. I see what they see. Whatever they are doing, I see it, I relate to it. As is I'm relating to kids nine and under. They are watching my videos. And I know this because of my granddaughter told me this. And I know they say from eighteen to eighteen to thirty five. So if the little kids are watching it, that means for these kids to even be on here, they have to be under a parent name or something. They can't have their birthday under it. So, okay. That's what I'm seeing. So, to answer that question, um, spicy topic. The celebrities are coming here because they are coming here so they can be here when the crystal children get here, the generation Z children get here, which are which are all my grandkids, in the eighteen and under, my oldest grandchild is eleven. So when these when when the, when the um, generation Z, the crystal children, get where the millennials are, these celebrities want to already be there, because these kids are not watching television. These kids are only watching their phones. They are. Tied to their phones. Hopefully, they won't be getting that chip in their head, and then that phone um, is operated like telepathy from their head, looking at a, a a holographic phone, looking like a holographic phone on their arm or in the air, and they're just standing there, just looking, and they're I guess they're talking to the next person, and whatever, but. They don't necessarily be like a telepathy thing. I don't. I, I do not plan to be no walking cyborg. Definitely not walk. If you don't no walking cyborg, I don't. I don't plan to be none of that. Um, Infinite Waters. He explained. He explained that what's coming in twenty twenty on his channel. So you will understand a little bit more about that. You can go to his channel, look that up. I've been watching his channel, especially about what's coming up 2020. Because the stuff is, I see it, understand it. But there's nothing like a person explaining it because they see it. And, okay, now you understand it. So, so basically these celebrities are coming to, um, are coming to the platform because the mainstream media, mainstream social media, mainstream um, TV, mainstream everything is obsolete. The millennials don't watch TV. The millennials have TV, but they don't watch TV because their phones sync to the TV. Like my phone right now syncs to my um, TV. And I watch my YouTube videos on my TV. I watch Netflix, Hulu. Or I can have my phone, and my phone is a remote to the TV. All I do is hit the um. All I do is hit the um the feature called Barbara's TV, and and it's and it streams right to my TV. And I can go on my phone like I do, and scroll around if I don't want to watch it, and then I hit the next one. To go straight to the TV. So that's what the millennials are doing. But these babies, we are talking about Generation Z, these crystal children, these children are not even doing that. They are totally their phones. Totally their phones. And therefore, these celebrities want to make sure that they are on YouTube. And I heard Facebook, like Facebook and Twitter, I don't know, I'm not sure about the Facebook thing, but Facebook and Twitter and and Snapchat and 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 all of these different apps that's on this phone to drive you crazy, it's going away, and everything is going is going to be a completely different platform. It's coming in 2020, and that's how come these celebrities are coming because they wants to be seen by these kids, but 
Spice the topic is concerned with the fact that the um the negativity it's how good it's how good we do it. My only thing is this. You can listen to her show to see what her concerns is about it. But my answer to that is this. If I don't like you and you negative come from you get that backlash from basketball wise because how you just totally disrespect black women. You do what you say about OG, which is disrespecting black women, you know, with that colorism thing. And you get that backlash, so you now, so now you come into the YouTube platform where we are, where all social media, where all the backlash is, and you making sure that backlash is pushed to one person, because saying that he going after um, Tammy Roman, which is she left. All that I don't really understand all that, cause I don't care for care for it that way. That that's her real seeing that, uh, which I don't doubt that. It's just that my eyes is not focused on how. That is working it, but I do understand how Evan Lozado is coming to the YouTube platform and why he's coming and why the celebrities are coming. Period. Nobody's going to be watching TV. Best of all, wives that's cable. Cable is going, is going away with the dinosaurs or the dodo birds. That's where cable going. So, right now. My whole phone and my TV is mobile. It's called mobile phone, mobile app. Everything is mobile. So I'm not going as far as having no no right size chippy me that's controlling all <coughs> that's controlling all of my uh, instead of um my um data on the iCloud being transferred to my phone. I have a chip, and then and my data from the iCloud is being transferred to my arm in a in a hologram. I ain't trying to go that. I like nature. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be in nature and from what I'm gonna be in nature and enjoying life. And to say on this phone right here, that's one thing I will see, but I ain't trying to see that. And I guess those people who gonna have who gonna be doing that, walking around, looking at the air, you know, pointing at the air. Um, scrolling through the air, walking around like we scroll on our phone, looking down. They be scrolling through the air, or they could be on their arms scroll, and they gonna be looking at looking at me like, "You got a cell phone, girl? You need to go ahead and get that chip." Not, I'm not getting no chip in me because these phones is a tracker. It tracks everybody. So why would I want to have my walking person um to be a tracking device? I'm a walking human flesh of, of the tracking device to me. Why would I even want to do that? They know everything about it. They, they, if you on your device and you looking up your stuff, whether you got that chip or whatever, they know where you are because the tracking device, they know where you are at any time. You know, you're looking up information, they know who you are. So, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be walking around. I just, hmm. A lot of people gonna go for that, but I ain't gonna, I ain't, I ain't going for that. And I feel these little poor little babies being born ain't gonna have no choice. They're just gonna put them in the babies, and the mothers ain't gonna have no choice. That's why a lot, that's why a lot of mothers won't be having no kids because they're not, because they ain't gonna want to have kids. If people just force these little um, what we call little nano nanotechnology, nano the size of a um, microbe or a micro. What do you call it? Your little microscopic thing you can't see. You look at it. You can see a grain of rice. Then it could be the size of a um a grain of pepper or a grain of salt. But anyway. But with that question, with the question that she answered, that is what I'm seeing. They're coming down because the platform, the whole entire mainstream platform is moving to is moving to YouTube and that's what they're doing. So we can either be a lesser part of it on it, trying to make that dollar, you know, whatever. Or we can move on to other platforms, you know, and do what we do, which is what a lot of people are doing. Some are moving to Patreon. I heard on uh, um, Crowdcast, and I'm going to look at that and see what that's about. But my thing is, I'm just on here for, you know, something to do. Because my page is not monetized and, you know, I couldn't monetize for the ads because I'm eligible for that. 
but not but to get the super chat and pay that way you no know, I I'll, that way you know to get paid for my views and stuff like that um as i said you need a thousand subscribers and four thousand um watch time but anyway that's it for this video and i will see you on the next one bye